Hello, I'm Andrew Lissom, and welcome back to Career Mode, KSP Career Mode, KSP 1.0. Alright, we're going to the moon. So, uh, I've gone into the uh, the research area. We had just enough science, we had 90.5, just enough to purchase one of these tiers, or we could purchase this, but this is boring. So instead, I purchased electrics. Electrics gives us the very first electricity creator. A solar panel. Ah, oh, finally, we have the ability to not die from uh, electricity. I mean, you know, we could fire engines, but... That's a bit of a waste. Um, instead, we now have a solar panel. We also have a battery or a probe core. We've got lights. We have a hydrogen tank for universal storage and an alkaline fuel cell, which will also allow us to create power from hydrogen and oxygen. Which sounds a bit like the new fuel cell that's in stock. So I don't think I'll use it unless it does something different. I'll have to read into exactly what it does differently. But uh, it might sound like it will conflict a bit with stock. So, now you might also notice, by the way, that uh, I've set up... Curve alarm clock. I've added all the transfer windows and when they're approaching. So we've got a transfer window with Moho uh, in the next seven days. And then it's going to be a very large gap until our next transfer window. So uh, when we're back from the moon, we've got like three days to prepare for a Moho mission. Because I want to send something to Moho. We'll probably send a probe. We're not sending Kerbals because they'll die. Um, but I want to send something to Moho. So I think that's the plan. The idea being that... We'll send something to Moho once we get back from the moon. We'll have a load of science. We'll be able to send like a probe that can do a load of stuff. But uh, that'll be fun. So Moho is, if you don't know, by the way, um, some of you are first-time watchers to KSP. Like, ooh, what is Moho? It's basically Mercury. It's a very small kind of barren planet right next to Kerbal, the sun. Um, it's kind of hard to get to, and it's very hot. Not a particularly nice place, but great for science. Uh, anyway, so let's just close that, and uh, let's get to making a rocket. I could build in fast forward mode, but I want to test a few things. So instead, I'm probably just going to go over it on the launch pad or go over it in the speaking hour, the VAB or something. So I will catch you guys in a minute. Hello, and welcome to the Moon One. So this is our craft. 65 grand, it's pretty expensive. Uh, we should start from the bottom up, I think. That's the best way when talking about engines, at least. We've got everything's got parachutes on them, by the way, so it can hopefully come back with uh, the stage or stock recovery or whatever it's called. What is it called? I can't remember. Anyway, um, we have side SRBs that fire at the same time as these four engines. Now, I would have five engines firing if I had the, uh, what's it called? It's some fuel lines, fuel lines, but I don't. So I'm going to keep the se center stage separate. Center stage separate. My God, that's actually fairly difficult. Um, so the idea here is that these will give us a boost, starting off with some great delta V. Then we go back to ground. Actually, I think I'll probably increase the delta V a little, uh, the thrust a little bit. Just get us up to two. There we go. Um, then we, these drop off. The side boosters then take over as you know their entire lifting stage. Then when they're done, we should get the center stage going, and that should get us to orbit. I think that should just about get us to orbit. I don't know if we'll need to use the main, the uh, top stage to finish our orbit or not, but either way, that's what's going to be happening. Uh, then after that. The middle, the main stage, uh, well, not the main stage, that's the main stage, right, so this is boost stage, this is ascent stage, that's main stage, and this is transfer stage. So yeah, the transfer stage takes over, and we use that to finish off our orbit if we need to, and go to the moon preferably, and get back from the moon. So this transfer stage has got 1.5 kilometers of delta V, so for our bottom stage we've got about 4 kilometers of delta V. It used to be you took 4.4, 4.5 uh, kilometers of delta V to be able to get to space and orbital. That's changed with the new aero system, so I'm hoping to squeak by on a little bit less. Now, I'm not sure if it'll be, you know, easy to manage, but we'll give it a try. So that's talking about all the engines. So let's talk about science and all the other little fun things we have here. So people, by the way, have asked me to go over those things in a bit more detail because, you know, they might be first-time watchers, first-time players of KSP. And to you, welcome to the game. Uh, what I've got here is, uh, you know, a crap ton of parachutes on the top. We've also got, if I open oh, by the way. Solar panels. We can now have basically infinite electricity, provided we don't end up pointing away from the sun or towards the sun, in which case we won't get very much at all and we'll probably die. Uh, but yeah, open the surface bay. What we have inside is la ba batteries, lots of batteries. We can go for about a day without having any more sun. So this should you know, suffice if we're in uh, the dark side of the moon, the dark side of Kerbin, etc. We'll be fine, hopefully. Uh, we also got three goo canisters, so that would be high Kerbin, high moon, low moon. We have temperature gauges, so thermometers, or a load of science from that. We haven't taken them to orbit yet. Uh, we've got two reaction wheels, so we get a bit more control. And just above them, you can't see it, I have an oxygen tank. So we've got enough oxygen for a very long time. Where do I get my oxygen? Oh, here we go. 
Uh, oxygen. There we go. 28 days. Plenty. Um, what else do we have? We have... Oh, let's close that. Material base. I've got two material base. I would have carried three, but I'm a bit concerned. I'll come on to concern in a minute. Uh, two material base. That's high moon, low moon. We'll get high curb at some point. Probably with a probe or something. Something simple like that. Uh, but, right. This is why I'm concerned. When we land, it's probably going to tip over, and it's probably going to break the material base, since they break it like six meters per second of impact. This is why we've got two, because I don't want to be too tall and definitely fall over. And this is why we've got fins on the upper stage. The fins might well burn off on re-entry. There's nothing I can do about that if that happens. But if they survive re-entry, the idea is they are going to act as landing legs. Now, actual landing legs we've got at the moment, mini micro landing legs, yeah, they burn off at like very low temperatures. So the idea is that instead of using them, we'll try and use these and use these to sort of keep us upright if we land on you know ground. If we land on water, eh, hopefully we'll be okay. But if we land on land, these are the idea that these will act as landing legs. Anyway, this is our you know transfer stage, two parachutes. This is our main stage. This is interesting, right? So the main stage, just in case it gets to orbit, and then we're like, well, we've got it in orbit. What do we do? I don't really want to leave debris. I would also like to, you know, get the money back for it. Because this main stage is worth, I don't know, 10 grand? Something like that. I'd like to get this main stage back. So what I've got in here is a reaction wheel, a probe core, and batteries. And it's also got solar panels on it. So the idea is, if we leave that in orbit and we switch to the transfer stage to go to the moon and back, we can then use this to deorbit. The probe core will be like, I know what to do here. The probe core will turn around, do a retrograde burn, get us into the atmosphere, slow down, probably burn up on re-entry. I can't do much about that, but we can try. Uh, and then, hopefully, we'll get the money back for it. But it's a little bit iffy. I don't think it's going to work, but I want to give it a try. Side boosters, three parachutes apiece. And SRBs. Yeah, pretty simple. Nothing special about those stages. Jeb's going to be flying. Jeb hasn't got his first level of experience, so it's Jeb's turn. Let us save. And let us launch. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to just do a, a quick, quick save. Cannot quick save moving on the surface. There we go. Um, save. Just in case things go... Terribly, terribly wrong and the game crashes. Right. Three, two, one. Oh my god, that was loud in my ear. Right, a bit of a tip, a bit of a tip. So these main engines on the bottom, all of these engines here, are the ones that have got gimballing. The 45s as opposed to the 90s. I want the gimballing so that I can control her in the atmosphere. This upper stage, transfer stage, because it's a small stage and we'll be in space, I don't have to worry too much. It's just a 90, so, oh god, we're tipping over a bit too much. I need to turn on uh, fine controls. There we go. And the parachutes are out. Successfully dropped. We're good. Okay, we're away. Let's tip over a little bit more. Alright. How are we doing? Good. Thrust to weight ratio is 1.48 and climbing. Which is nice. Let's just make sure this goes up perfectly. Um, I'm trying to stay as much on the horizon as possible. I don't have to do any collision, but etc. We're going to be tight enough as it is for fuel. Okay. The scent seems good. Nothing to complain about so far. I'd like to know what our apoapsis, even though we're pretty low. I imagine the apoapsis isn't particularly high, like a 10. There we go, 10. Right. Maybe a bit more tip. A little bit. Not a... Ooh, there we go. Not a lot. Not a lot. There we go. Okay. Come on. Come on. Got to get this perfectly. I don't want to have to waste fuel doing correction burns. Oh, come on. Turn over. My God. This is a tough cookie. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, fight it. Fight it. Oh. It really doesn't want to sit on the uh, on the equator. It doesn't want to sit on the 90 degrees. Right. Apoaps, 18 kilometers. Right. We can see our apoaps on the data now. And the camera's changed already to orbital? Oh, I must have hit the button. Yeah, let's go back to three. Thirty kilometer. We need to do a bit more turnover. There we go. That's actually handling pretty well. We're almost out of these engines. They're going to come in pretty fast. 
I hope they'll survive. Three, two, one. They're gone. Their parachutes are active, but they haven't deployed them because they're too high up. Don't explode. Ooh, please don't hit each other. Right, Apoaps is up to 50, so let's just give a bit of a horizontal burn now. Bye bye, parachutey things. Right, we're up to 55. Flying straight and true. I think we should be good. A bit roll. Let's just there we go. Adjust that. Up to sixty. Right. That's just a horizon burn then. Burning on the horizon. Come on, Jeb. You can do it. We can get you to the moon. Well, past the moon. Close. Close to the moon. Low orbit. Well, not orbital, but, you know, close to the moon anyway. Nice flyby. A very low flyby. That's the one. What do you call them? Feet. Fly by the moon. We will get there. It's looking like a very good trajectory. Very nice, very nice. Okay, how much delta have we got left? 30 seconds worth of burn. We're doing well, we're doing well. Twenty seconds left of burn. I think we'll just go for our apple apps and do our circulation at our apple apps. We're nearly there. I'm gonna go for seventy-two apple apps. Just give us a little bit of leeway. There we go. Seventy-two point two. We've got two hundred meters per second remaining of delta v. Uh, you know that's almost enough to circularize. I don't think it will be, but it's close. It's close. That's what matters. All right. So physics warp because we're in atmosphere. Time to apple apps is a long way away because we went for such a <laughs> such a horizontal burn. Hmm. Temperature scan. Keep data. Now we do have an objective to do science, right? Transmit or recover science from space around Kerbin. Let's get a crew report. Transmit. There we go. There's the comms relay, by the way. I didn't mention that, but we have a comms relay. Did we do that? Yes, contract complete. Uh, yeah, but we have a comms relay so that I can send back crew reports. Because you can send back crew reports for 100% science, which I forgot. I got into the habit of not ever sending science back because I'm like, oh, it ruins it. But yeah, you can do that for crew reports for 100%. So there we go. Done. How long to Apple Apps? Less than 30 seconds. Okay, let's start turning over. Perhaps is only minus 50, but I think we probably will need to change stage. If we need to change stage, I need to get this into... Yeah, let's put that in there. Because otherwise I wanted to separate the parachutes out so I could fire the parachutes manually. But uh, since, you know, we'll be ejecting it in a suborbital trajectory. Right, time to apoaps. There we go. Let's start burning. Here we go. There we go. Uh, 76 by 71. I wasn't paying that much attention to it. We're good, which means that I can now keep this booster in orbit. It probably will burn up on the way back, but you never know. And I can fire off. And we can do our transfer burn. Excellent. So where is the moon? The moon is over there. I need to burn when the moon is on the horizon. That's the rule. I need to burn when the moon is on the horizon. And we should be good. Right, so yeah, if those of you don't know, uh, if you're doing a burn for the moon without, you know, actually being able to see any maneuver nodes or have patch conics or anything, you want to burn when the moon is literally rising over the horizon. So let us eject our back end.
Okay. Bye bye, back end. And let's do some speeding up. There we go, there's the moon. There is the moon. Right, burn for it. Show me how we're doing. We need to burn a little bit up. A little bit more up. Come on, we got this, we got this, we got this. How much else are we using? Quite a lot. I can close coming along, by the way. By the way, I put in menu, I, the launch windows. Transfer windows, that's the one. I put in transfer windows for all the planets into uh, Curb Alarm Clock. So, we'll be able to know when it's best time to transfer. Moho's coming up in seven days, which is why I'm desperate to do this now. Right, how are we doing there? We're above our target, and that's going to result in some really kind of weird issues. So I'm going to try and do a inclination burn. Sure, we do want to be doing that, but I also kind of enlarged our orbit by doing so. Probably there, I need to do a burn. Oh, hi over Kerbin, right, um, we'll take a crew report. You are really are, you really are as high as a kite. Rocket man, maybe higher. Uh, let us transmit that, 100%, yeah. Material study? No, I want to keep material study for low and high of a moon. Reset the experiment. And we'll take the mystery goo and the temperature scan. Did I get temperature? No. Temperature! Uh, measuring temperature space appears to be quite impossible as there's no matter around to be either hot or cold except the spacecraft and the thermometer itself. This is probably going to give the R&D guys something to think about for a while. Keep data. Mystery goo. Mystery goo and Badlands seems like a bad combination to you. This isn't the Badlands, but okay. Rather than opening a Pandora's box, you forgo the exp Okay. Oh, I did two mystery goos by mistake. Okay, cool. Um, wait, we didn't we do a... I'm going to have to manually check the mystery goo. I swear we did a mystery goo. Oh, okay. I can almost reset one later. Yeah, we'll keep it. Sure. Lock. All right, let's do a little bit of a burn, just to try and crack this horrible, horrible inclination. There we go. And then we need to sort out the ridiculous, uh, you know, shooting past it. So that's probably a, a retrograde burn? Yeah, I'm feeling the retrograde burn. Come on, over there to the retrograde marker. I see you, come here. Maybe a little bit more prograde and pointing downwards. Prograde, where's prograde? Over here, where's pointy downwards? We're going to call it there. I'm going to call that orbit good enough and we're going to do some time warping. So let us advance. Now the problem with going to someone like the moon in the lit orbit is uh, you look like you're going really, really fast. You look like you're going to overtake the moon and all bad things are going to happen. But as you get to the end of your ellipse, you slow down. You lose velocity, which is why you come back. Like throwing a stone off the planet, whatever. It goes up, slows down, and then comes back. Um, so the moon will actually catch up with us. Please catch up with us. <laughs> I get really, really concerned when I can't see patch conics. I'm so used to them. Oh, uh, this is looking actually really good. I think we're going to hit. I think we're going to hit. <laughs> what did I tell you? Such a good trajectory. I, I think we'd have been fine with our first burn, but the inclination would have been worse. Alright, where are we pointing at the moment? I want to do my burn quickly. I'll do the science afterwards. Uh, I want to burn down a little bit, and I definitely want to burn radial a little bit. So, that. That's the inclination 
mostly sorted. So let's just keep burning radial. Oh. Come on. There we go. Perhaps is minus 100, minus 90, minus 70, minus 40, minus 30, minus... Ooh, here we go. Let's get that up a little bit more. Five. I don't feel comfortable with five. That's a little bit close. There we go. Nine. We'll go within nine kilometers of the moon. The moon! And it looks like we're actually going to have some issues with our inclination coming out of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn... Uh, not that way. That way. Just try and sort this inclination coming out. Because it's easy to sort the inclination now. The earlier you sort it, the more efficient it is. But we're going to call it there for this episode. I know we've been going into it in quite a lot of detail. Not much skipping forwards. That's because a lot of uh, new people watching this, getting into care through the first time, might want to see the extra detail. So I'm sorry about those of you who, you know, know all about getting to the moon, etc. But uh, until next time, I've been then listening. If you've enjoyed, please remember to like, not subscribe. Please consider subscribing. And stay shiny.